For the uh, interval debulking and HIPEC story, you know, uh, heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy is kind of the new thing. A lot of rave about it, a lot of folks offering it with, uh, with unfortunately little level three, ev level one evidence to support it. And so uh, the uh, uh, investigators in the Netherlands um, did a randomized trial in patients who were receiving neoadjuvant and then undergoing interval debulking surgery. And that randomization was to either receiving HIPEC or not, and then getting systemic therapy afterwards also. There's, of course, as with any other randomized trial, there are concerns, flaws, all those things, but the, uh, the trial as designed and the results were that there was a, uh, a significant improvement and a real improvement clinically also in both progression-free and overall survival. So that's the only randomized trial in that setting. It's something we all need to sort of pay attention to. We can't discount that either. And it would not be unreasonable if you can offer HIPEC, which is also another technique and skill that needs to be acquired, if you have that capability at your institution, you would be justified in offering that to your patients at the time of interval debulking. Now, we don't know the role of HIPEC at, in other settings, such as the upfront setting and at primary debulking or in the recurrent setting. We currently are nearing completion of accrual uh, on a HIPEC study that we have in patients with first uh, recurrent platinum sensitive ovarian cancer and they are randomized at the end of the surgery if they've, if they've achieved a complete site of reduction to receiving either HIPEC or not.